Well, the good news is help is on the way. Local volunteers with the Red Cross, the Salvation Army are heading to the Panhandle. New at 5, Action News Jack's Lorena Inclan picks up our live team coverage in Riverside. And Lorena, one volunteer just got back from Puerto Rico yesterday after Hurricane Maria relief efforts. He's on the way to Tallahassee right now, leaving from this parking lot right here earlier this morning. Some volunteers are coming off of relief efforts in the Carolinas, so it's been nonstop for them this hurricane season. But they know that their work is important, which is why they did not hesitate to deploy again. As the work begins to clean up the panhandle, Red Cross volunteers like Jack Morgan will be there to help. Right now, we're, we've got our recon teams out there. We're setting up these, these shelters. Morgan knows firsthand the power of a major hurricane like Michael. Looks exactly like it, Andrew in 92. Uh, I deployed to Andrew in 92, was down there during the hurricane. Nearby, Lieutenant Dominic Blanford of the Salvation Army was packing his disaster response unit. It's devastating. Um, words cannot describe um, how I felt this morning um, as I was packing my bags. Um, and telling my kids goodbye. He'll be gone for 14 days along with fellow volunteer Jerry Jones. I'm excited about going because we're going to help people. The group said a prayer before they took off. Do your services now in a time of disaster. The Salvation Army says it's also making sure their volunteers are taken care of. And we make sure that we send people back after 14 days and send a replacement crew. Morgan left this morning for a lengthier mission he says will last at least three weeks. The first stop for Blamford and Jones is Tallahassee before they move into harder hit Panama City in the morning. Godspeed, guys. Thank you. Both the Red Cross and the Salvation Army tell me that they do provide mental health counseling and they even follow up with volunteers once they return home. Next at 6, we'll show you how you can help even if you're not physically able to go to the panhandle. Reporting live in Riverside, Lorena Inkland, CBS 47 Action News Jacks.